Nothing encapsulates the excitement of the postseason more than the furry-faced Philly fanatic. And he's one of the greatest mascots in sports, and it's all thanks to the man behind the folk hero, Dave Raymond, who started as a Phillies intern. said, hey, you want to come back? And I said, yeah, what do you want me to do? And they said, go to New York and get fitted for the costume. I'm like, what? And they just said, just go to New York, get fitted for the costume. I got measured, and then they gave me this design drawing. Mr. Giles told me, just go have fun. So Raymond says the organization gave him the freedom to be goofy and embrace all that is the core of being a Phillies fan. He was the first person to don the neon green tinted costume and wore it for 16 years. Raymond made three World Series appearances as the fanatic and retired after the Phillies 1993 World Series run. And he says seeing the team and the beloved mascot possibly make it back to baseball's biggest stage is nothing short of nostalgia and pride. And it's, you know, it's 45 years later and, and it's still wonderful to see the Fanatic doing uh, the same type of unifying and the same type of creating moments of joy for people. And that, that is what's so wonderful and powerful about sports. True story. Well, Raymond now has his own business called Raymond Entertainment and has also designed other mascots like Flyers Gritty and GMA's mascot Ray. Going to any Phillies game, though, especially postseason games, is really a shared experience. I don't know. Did you guys do the World Series last year? No. I, I went to game three, <laughs> and I am telling you, it was amazing. I'm not even that much of a baseball fan, but I was that night. It's wow. awesome. Yeah, the whole city comes together. Yes. That's